Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Dear students, Assalamu alaikum I am Dr. Harun Rashid and I will be teaching you this course titled as Environmental Laws and Policies It is a two credit offer course We will be having two lectures per week First of all, let's have a look on the course contents of uh, uh, this course We will be studying uh, International Law and Environment what is uh, actually this uh, uh, what is actually the need of uh, uh, developing laws and uh, how we can uh, implement these laws and uh, in the second uh, part we will be studying different kinds of acts which are being uh, uh, applied in our country and uh, uh, furthermore we will also have a look on the different uh, uh, regulations and we will be having some uh, national standards uh, development procedures and then we all will also study the international uh, uh, protocols and uh, treaties which are uh, uh, followed by Pakistan and then uh, these are some of the books which we will be using actually uh, I will provide you uh, the uh, lectures my lectures and uh, furthermore I will also provide some books which I have downloaded for you so and uh, this is our OBE requirement OBE is is a uh, outcome based education and we need to define our course learning outcomes for every course so uh, just based on our course contents we will be having two CLOs in this course uh, for every section as described early and then it will be linked with the PLOs which are 7 and 8 so and uh, how we are going to evaluate these uh, CLOs and then PLOs we are having this uh, weightage and marks calculation so CLO1 will be having 50% weightage with 20 marks uh, including 20, 12 from mid, 6 from final and 2 from assignments and CLO2 will be again having 50% weightage with 20 marks uh, and it will constitute of 18 final and 2 from assignments this is some of the brief description about uh, how we will be uh, grading our uh, this course now uh, before starting um, about our environmental laws and policies I will like to describe the significance of this course this course is uh, actually uh, linked with the uh, ex uh, implementation of different laws and standards which have been developed by uh, our uh, uh, organizations and institutions and different authorities environmental authorities so as to control and prevent the environmental pollution uh, in this uh, reference our this course is going to help out uh, to understand what are the different uh, uh, conditions which every uh, organization has to follow every industry has to follow every institution has to follow uh, with reference to the environmental pollution so you know there is uh, a wide range of environmental uh, uh, pollution issues which Pakistan is facing and uh, overall globally these are uh, being faced and mm, the purpose of this uh, uh, development of laws and policies is to uh, streamline our direction so as to prevent and reduce the environmental pollution basically this course falls under the heading of environmental management 
it has nothing to do with uh, uh, designing it has nothing to do with the scientific uh, uh, calculations and, and uh, but we are concerned with the concentrations of our different environmental parameters uh, in different media like uh, in air in soil in water in wastewater uh, so these we need to understand what are the their concentrations and then we are going to relate these concentrations these uh, quantities with the uh, laws which we have developed actually these laws are uh, further uh, uh, subgrouped in rules and regulations which are necessary for the industry to follow so that's why we will be having a uh, much more wider range of the application of these laws not only in the uh, in in our industrial sector but also in agriculture sector and also in our daily life in our household uh, matters in our uh, uh, hospital management issues and, and there are so many uh, applications of this uh, uh, environmental law and policy so uh, and furthermore uh, if uh, as you can even use this uh, knowledge uh, for your consultant uh, uh, for your consultancies and for your uh, uh, professional uh, approach being a consultant because when you will be working as a consultant you must have an idea what kind of rules and regulations you must abide by while working in uh, working on a typical project it can be a wastewater project it can be a water supply scheme project it can be some eia project it can be some iwe project so all these projects need uh, a clear and uh, a deep understanding about the rules and regulations developed by our environmental protection authorities furthermore we have some uh, regulatory uh, implications as well which in which are uh, covered uh, in our environmental management section you might have gone through that as well like iso 14000 uh, you might have gone through environmental impact assessments so all these things are uh, basic requirements to fulfill our rules and regulations so further uh, this is something which was related to the scope and uh, um, significance of this course and one more thing even uh, when you will be working as an uh, environmental impact assessment consultant this knowledge will uh, provide you some very basic uh, approaches how you will be going to conduct this eia how, what are your limitations and what is the scope of eia so for example if you are working on a uh, uh, on a wildlife uh, uh, assessment to uh, find out the uh, impact of uh, some project on the wildlife in that case you must have a knowledge about the rules and regulations related to, to the wildlife so that's why this knowledge is very important we will be covering it uh, on a wider scale we cannot go in depth we cannot go uh, in details but uh, still we will be having a, a good grip on our uh, environmental laws and uh, uh, environmental policies being implemented in our country so now uh, um, moving a step ahead what kind of terminologies we will be using in this course so what are the basic uh, uh, instruments which we will be dealing with 
so b as the course title indicates it is purely related with the laws and rules and regulations and constitutions and act and protocol and treaties so all these things are very important to uh, have a clear uh, point of view and clear uh, understanding of these things so uh, before going into detail and uh, moving forward let's have a look on these terminologies these are basically legal instruments these are the uh, tools with the help of which we will be developing some uh, uh, typical uh, environmental policy and we will be implementing it so let's have a look how we can define it and uh, if we are uh, clear about the concepts of these uh, terminologies or we need some more information about it so the most important one is the constitution so um, the constitution is actually something which is uh, called the chief legal instrument this is going to provide us some very basic information on the basis of which we are going to develop our our rules and regulations and our uh, developing our laws everything is going to be based on our constitution these are the fundamental principles of our country these are going to guide us in developing any kind of law or policy so this that's why we are call, calling it chief legal instrument so our in, uh, constitution as you know is uh, uh, existing since 1973 the latest uh, form of it and then actually it also creates uh, uh, sorry it also explains the relation between our different uh, authorities and our different administrative uh, boundaries so as we, you know we have some federal boundaries we have provincial boundaries we have some uh, tribal area boundaries so all these things are going to be uh, under the influence of our uh, 1973 constitution so furthermore it is also going to describe the interlinkage between these uh, administrative authorities and boundaries then comes the rules and regulations what are rules and regulations and what is their impact what is their strength and how useful these can be and uh, what powers uh, are provided to these rules and regulations basically these are uh, not independent legal instruments so these are have to be linked with some uh, based on some uh, guideline provided by some act so they are issued by the executive branch of uh, government and uh, furthermore uh, it is uh, a continuation of a particular act or ordinance as i earlier explained we need to have some uh, baseline uh, information baseline principles based on which we will be developing our rules and regulations so basically these rules and regulations are going to be implemented by some organization and that organization can be some authority like epa is one of the authority wasa is another authority wabda is another authority these are the tools these sorry these are the sources of organizations which are going to develop their own rules and regulations uh, and uh, furthermore these are uh, guided by the principles these principles are coming from the act or constitution so uh you can go through these uh, details i try to write it as simple as i can and uh, the rules are the principles to which 
an action or procedure is intended to conform and are always framed in the exercise of powers delegated under a statute so that statute is actually an act which is approved by the parliament or uh, so, um, uh, some other uh, uh, authority which is going to which has the power to make a law so furthermore yes it is going to have an impact of the uh, uh, act or ordinance so now these uh, rules and regulations are going to be linked with our environmental issues what actually motivates to develop or make a law related to environment it is actually the severity and intensity of our environmental pollution problems just a very brief introduction of the environmental issues which we are facing i think you are very well familiar with all these uh, environmental issues and uh, 